Hi guys, good morning. It is Sunday morning. It's probably close to 11 by now. Ronan is taking a nap, which is awesome. The reason I didn't start the vlog earlier is because he seems so tired that he's being really angry, um, but he slept a really long time. He slept from 7.40 last night until 5.30 this morning, and actually I had to wake him up at 5.30 because my tatas were full of milk, so yeah, it was hurting, and like, the bed was all gross, and it was not good. So I have to do laundry now because of that, but I also had to wake him up. He ate, went back to sleep until like almost 8, and then we woke up officially, and he was grumpy, so... Taking a nap, I'm hoping it will help because it's actually really sunny outside and it snowed last night. So cross your fingers, maybe we can try sledding again when he's in a good mood. Um, but while he is sleeping, I have been doing a few things. One of them is boiling water for my tea in my little namaste in bed mug. Another is writing in my little planner that I showed you guys the other day. So I put, yesterday I am grateful for our hot, clean water to take showers with. And I didn't write any to-do list because I worked yesterday, so there was no time to do anything. Today I have a bunch of things written down and I have room for more, which I will keep adding. Bronx, you're not supposed to be on this. This is not a cat bed. Off you go. And the third thing was doing my hair and makeup, but again, today is the fourth day of no foundation. It feels pretty good, mostly just lips, lashes, eyebrows, and I did heat up my straightener to do my hair, and then I decided, you know what, I'm not going to do anything to my hair either. I'm going to give my hair a break. So I'm doing pretty good in 2017, doing a good job of treating myself correctly, and we'll see if it continues. I don't know. Um, I do enjoy makeup, so at some point I'm going to want to put a whole full face of makeup on, but yeah, it's been really nice, really like, oh, refreshing. But I need to do some chores, and it's really boring, so I'm just going to catch up with you when Ronan wakes up from his nap, and you can see his beautiful little face. He's awake, and I am obviously wearing him right now. That's because his nap was only like 30 minutes long, so he's not in the best mood, so I guess we're not going to go sledding right now. Um, but we are going to do some chores, hopefully. Um, some of them I can't do while I'm wearing him because it's too difficult, but we'll do the ones that we can. Oh, are you trying to say hi? Hi. Yeah. He likes to twist in this now. It's been a little while. I've been doing chores. Mom and Stu have been working on the living room. As you might be able to tell, the tree is gone. Tears. I love Christmas, so I'm very sad. But it was starting to die and make needles everywhere. So that is the problem with the real trees. They get kind of messy when they're dead. Um, so the tree's gone, we are rearranging the living room, moving chairs, vacuuming. While they've been doing that, I mopped Bronx's freaking pee off the bathroom floor, again. And I cleaned the bathroom, like I put bleach in the shower, etc. Put laundry in, I'm just working, working, working while I can because he is actually behaving himself. I think when there's a lot of commotion around him and things he hasn't seen before, he's like fascinated, so he was watching Nin and Papa playing playing, aka working, and I made some guac, which looks pretty gross, I know, like the color is just not appetizing, but if you want to make this, it does taste really good, and it's one avocado, and you just, you know, cut it up, smush it in there, and then two heaping spoonfuls of salsa, and a little bit of lime, and it tastes really good. That goes around like it's supposed to. Yeah. Do you want to play with these in here, Ronan? So that was Ryan's, this is... Uh, that might was either Ryan's or Dylan's. Yeah, but I had one of those. <coughs> That's been around a long yeah. time. I figured that out instantly. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> He's like gonna shake it. <laughs> I'm picking up by the stem. <laughs> You did it! And of course he wants to taste them. So I want to knock them over. Boop, boop, boop. I'm trying to get him to self-entertain a little bit so we can do some chores. He says it won't fall down. What the heck? Ready? Yeah? Happy? <laughs> what 
all dressed and ready to go outside. We're gonna try sledding. Take two. Will he cry? Will he not cry? He's in his snowsuit. I'm wearing another of my mom's snowsuits. Very 80s. And it matches my hat perfectly. And you can't tell, but it has a belt, so I feel fabulous. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi! Come on! <laughs> All right! Good workout, Nana! <laughs> yeah! Oh, he fell down! Is it funny? Yeah. No, he's not sure. No, not yet. <laughs> Let you go down, pull you back up. <laughs> it seems to me like we had a lot more fun this time. We got some smiles. You were crying last time. You were. And it's snowing out right now. You just can't see it. It's very light. <laughs> inside. <laughs> Just loves making noise. Um, I'm about to have a snack because pushing him up the hill was very tiring. I don't know if you guys like cottage cheese. Some people hate it, but if you do like cottage cheese, the kind with pineapple is really good. I'm sure, I think I showed this in my grocery haul the other day, but I'm going to have some crackers and cottage cheese and just catch my breath a little, you know? Gotta cool down. But I would say that was a successful outing. That was pretty fun. We'll have to do it again. Here, more stuff to make noise with. And Bronx is here to be pet. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, when he passes away, I don't think I'm gonna get another cat for a while, so I'm trying to just enjoy his soft fur and his affection, even though it's kind of needy, but maybe that's what I'll write down for my gratitude thing in my planner. Is I'm just thankful, although he pees on the floor for a living creature who loves me so much, just like Ronan. Maybe even more, I can't tell. He seems really obsessed with me. <laughs> wow, good job. Ronan is eating some toast with butter and peanut butter. It's actually his third time having peanut butter, so I don't think he's allergic. He loves to get his hands all buttery and then put them in his hair, but luckily <laughs> his bath is on my to-do list here, so. <laughs> Can you show them how you do five? Boop. Five. Beep. Yeah. Can you clap? Clap. Yay. <laughs> splish, splash. Ronan's taking a bath. And he won't look at the camera because you know what he's playing with. His ting ting. Do you need a different toy to play with? His face got a little bit red. I think the peanut butter just like irritated his skin. So he's had it in just his mouth before, like two or three times. 
And I think my mom said he probably needs to build up a little bit of resistance. So I'm going to stop putting it on his toast. And I'm just going to continue to every day give him a tiny little bit in his mouth. And be very careful to observe him. Because we don't want you to be allergic. But yeah, he's not lethargic. His tongue is not swollen. So we're doing well. And we're giving him a bath to try and get all those oils off of his feet. Rabbit ducky. You're the one. You make bath time so much fun. <laughs> He's having a good time. <laughs> My happy boy. Mm, he smells so good, guys. Babies smell amazing. And it's not the same now as it was when he was a newborn, but... Mmm, you smell nice and fresh. And he's nomming on um this clip holder at Stu's actually for his hair. Um, because I have a really hard time putting butt cream on his butt after he's had like a bath because his hands are in that area, if you know what I mean. And he gets very, very upset when you try to like hold his arms down. He doesn't like his body to be controlled, which I understand because I'm a woman. But this distraction helped, so we're just hanging out. Mom and Stu went to the grocery store. I feel like we're always at the grocery store, but it's like five or ten minutes from our house, so it's not a big deal. I actually like grocery shopping, like for fun. <laughs> I don't know if I've said this already, but I do. I just enjoy it all the time, even if I was just like, I don't know, going in the grocery store to get like one thing. I'm like, yes, Hannaford. I'm like surrounded by food. It's a, it's a nice place, but not a lot of people enjoy it. Um, I was talking to a guy a couple months ago who I ended up getting bored of, but before I got bored of him, we did bond over the fact that, like, he liked grocery shopping and he was basically like, my ideal date is just doing anything with a person I enjoy, and that's me. Like, I don't need to be taken out to a restaurant, I don't need to go see a movie. We could be grocery shopping, and if I really enjoy that person's company, then it would be fun, but... That's just me, not that I'm going to turn down, you know, going on restaurant dates. I wouldn't. Ronan's playing with my phone, which he knows he's not supposed to. Oh, for reasons like that, you just, you just hit yourself with that, baby. Be careful. Be careful. I'm letting him, though, because I want to document his tiny baby body for future reference when it's big and I'm sad. So we'll start at his feet. They're very small still. And this is his foot that has all the little squiggly toes. They go up and down. Oh! <laughs> you, you, dropped, you dropped the phone. Here. Now, simmer down. These are his shapely calves. And his little thighs, which right now have a little squish in them. A little squish squash. And then we skip this area. And we go straight to the tummy. Baby boobies. And up to the face. The most important part. So cute. Little button nose. I'm gonna eat your tummy. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys. If anything exciting happens, I can always add a little bonus clip. But Bronx is chilling down here on the bed as well. Having a little party on Nana and Papa's bed. The heater is right there, so that's probably why. Um, but I just wanted to give a movie suggestion before I go. I watched a movie a couple of years ago, and I was just thinking about it for some reason, just because it was such a feel-good movie, and it's like kind of an indie movie, which is my favorite. Um, and it's called The Giant Mechanical Man. And it has um, the girl who plays Pam in The Office, and the guy who plays Danny in um, The Mindy Project. So... If you like those actors, then you know that this movie is really cute, really good, um, it won't make you cry at the end, so don't worry, and you should definitely go find it. I don't think it's on Netflix anymore. What's wrong, baby? Distraction. Look at all his hair. He's got a lot of fuzz, you guys, but anyways, I'm getting distracted again. All I want to say is, yeah, you should watch that movie. If you haven't seen it already, find it somehow, watch it, tell me you love it, because I know you will. And you can suggest any movies to me down below because I love watching new stuff. 
And I especially like romance. It doesn't have to be cheesy, actually. I don't really like cheesy movies, but if you know any indie ones or foreign films or romances, funny ones, anything like that, I would appreciate it. Don't forget to like our video if you enjoyed today's vlog, watching him sled, etc. Um, you can always share the video, comment down below, show us some love because we love you guys. <laughs> That's his way of saying I love you guys. Good night. Where's Ronan? Where's Ronan? Where did he go? Where are the YouTubers? Peek! Where did they go?